Marion was able to come away victorious in both regular season matchups. However, Thursday afternoon's game at Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines had high stakes on the line. A win and you were in the state championship game. What would this epic semifinal game hold? We kick things off in the first quarter where senior Allie Woldridge uses a beautiful crossover on Chloe Rice to gain separation and draw a foul. Not too long after, Marion's Ella Van Wilden connects on her only shot of the game to tie it up at 13 all after CPU held the early advantage. Woldridge averaged close to 20 points in each of the first two games against the Indians, however foul trouble and tough defense held the senior to 11 on the day. Marion capped off their 8-0 run to finish the first quarter with a layup by Sophie Willette here. They led 18-13 after 8 minutes played. Now trailing by 7 in the second, Callan Fox gets a much needed and one to spark the Storm and Pointers and the crowd. After making a basket seconds before the buzzer in the first, Marion did it again before halftime as Willette knocks down her second attempt from beyond the arc. Lamia Sisk almost got the half court shot to go, but it just missed. The Indians led 28 to 27 at the break. Moving to the fourth quarter with CPU trailing 42 to 38, a wild series of events transpires. Take a look. First, Woldridge cannot get the tough layup to go. However, Rice's pass is intercepted by Catcher, who then takes it herself for a layup, but she can't get it to fall either. After grabbing her own rebound, Catcher finds Woldridge, who knocks down the three to cut it to one. With the score still the same, Woldridge is given an opportunity to tie or take the lead. Unfortunately, she could not get either to fall. On the ensuing possession, the Indians find Caitlin Smith, who makes CPU pay with a three-pointer to move the margin to four. Now down seven, Fox keeps the Storm and Pointer's hopes alive with a layup here. She finished with a game-high 14 points. Battling foul trouble for most of the game, Woldridge fouls out here after being called for a charge. She had 11 points and eight rebounds in her final game. Catcher uses a layup to get the margin back down to seven. However, in the end, it wasn't enough as Marion completed the hat trick by beating CPU for the third time this season, 56 to 46. They play Grinnell Friday night for the state championship. So, you know, this, this is a matchup, you know, you've seen twice before, and this was the third time here tonight that you guys faced um, Marion. Um, and, you know, they were two strong battles the first two, and, you know, today was no different. You know, the, you know every every single play mattered. You know, they were hustling out there. Everything, you know, mattered for the team. You know, unfortunately, you guys were not able to come out on top. But, you know, looking back, you know, obviously I know it's a little, probably a little harder right now than it will be, you know, in a couple weeks. But, um, you know, what do you have to say about the season as a whole and, you know, just kind of the memories that you've made, whether it be with the girls or just anything coaching? Oh, okay. Great season. It's always fun. I mean, especially when you can get all the way to here and you know and stuff like that. I just kind of wish we would have, you know, made another day. And, um, you know, but I mean, kind of lump it all together. It's, I mean, I, I have a great group of girls and I like being with them. And it's kind of that abrupt abruptness, and which you know, it was going to be like that regardless. You know, tomorrow. So you know, it's one of those things that it stinks, but that's part of sports, and that's why we love it so much. Yeah, and then you know, kind of um, basing off that, you know, the sting of. You know, a lot of seniors, you know, played their last game today, and you know, including three starters, um, Allie, uh, Lamia, and uh, Olivia. Um, you know, what do you have to say about you know the senior group as a whole? You know, not only what they've done, but you know, also bringing along you know the underclassmen, you know, for the next season. Well, um, they're great leaders, so I mean, they they are good role models for our underclassmen that are coming back. I mean, that's that's a you know brand there. Um, but overall, I mean, those seniors have been around. All seven of them have been around, you know, for four years. Um, we've had a lot of success, a lot of wins, um, a lot of fun, you know, with them just in general. So um, that's probably the practices and the behind-the-scenes stuff that you kind of missed more than, you know, the, the games, you know, because, I mean, that's the fun part. So just not being able to see them every day would be kind of hard, but, um, you know, it's disappointing, but that's, that's part of the game. Yeah, and then finally to wrap it up, obviously, you know, you had a, a big uh, fan base that showed up here today and, you know, kind of throughout the whole entire season. Um, you can you just kind of talk about, you know, how much that really helped you throughout the season, you know, pretty much a thanks to, you know, just the, the entire community. Yeah, I mean, our fans are great. I mean, throughout the season, you know, with the split with the boys and stuff, it's hard to get everybody to all of our games, but anytime we can have them back-to-back -back or something, we had a full crowd. Um, even some, I mean, whoever was home just had a good crowd, and you know, in some of our road games, we had some, you know, nice crowds. When we got this postseason, I mean, uh, we were lucky to be at home for a couple games, and then coming here, we've always had a good following um, ever since you know I got here. So, I mean, our fans like to support us, and um, you know, that kind of shows you know where all these kids are coming from, and that will continue. So, I'm, I'm glad to be here.